Hey, boys, look what I got here. Hey, where are the white women at? I That's know. Fixed racism. This is how. And uh, we're, I'm going to have to do this in sections. So this, uh, whether if you guys can make it again, great. If you know, not, and, and we really shouldn't talk about Final Death Star this way. Oh, right. he, yeah. <laughs> you know what? He he can't be held accountable for what his evil twin did. Jesus. Yeah. But I'm uh, this this doc is actually so big. I want to take a look at some of the 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 stuff that's referenced in it. We're going to skim over it. We're not going to click any of the links because there's just too much. This is uh, this thing is is several videos to to dissect. Founding in the comics, John F. Trent. J.J. Abrams' bad reboot uh, shares employee guide for dismantling white supremacy at work. J.J. Abrams. Bad how many? Wait, 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 let's just stop it Go right ahead. there. This is Rogue sure. Entertainment. Yes. We we stop a second in. <laughs> <laughs> I I did not. I have not yet worked at a place that I realized it's a white supremacist. You know, like he's admitting bad robots white supremacist like hey but right now we're gonna stop it okay guys it was fine up into now our white supremacy but now we gotta stop it let's but here's the thing okay let's say you acknowledge that in your business there are racist practices let's say you acknowledge that yep is sending people to follow people on twitter and watch movies and read books the solution nope is that the answer here nope. homework Right, well, patting just, your back while you do it, patting your own back. Not just that, but letting the entire company know these are preferred perspectives. These are the, these are the accepted perspectives of our company. These right. these select. No, people. it's lazy because you should have your own perspectives. Right. You should have some insight into what's happening in your business and your structure that's personal, Fucking a, right? Specific to you, and then fix those things. Right. Right. Yeah. So like he's really just putting it out there for you to find somebody else to teach you and yeah. come back to work, be better people. Yeah. Well, honestly, the fundamental problem with JJ Abrams is he doesn't have an original thought in his head. Exactly. You yep. know, he just wants to tell you what he saw once, except <laughs> this way. Bigger. Wes, yeah, sorry. More, this is, say, more, say, more lens flare. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Yes, yeah, you just got to jump in, dude. Just jump it's, in. I'm, I'm still trying to di digest. It's like, where do you even start, man? I mean, do, do you start with the part? Because I, I just read the article, and I don't we'll want to jump ahead. I don't, I don't want to jump ahead if we're not jumping ahead. There's just like some weird stuff in there. We're, we're going to go Very section weird. by section. Yeah, we're, we're, let's, uh, let's continue on. Yeah, let's Sorry. go. Sorry, Wes. This is how we operate. Uh, we yep. just yep. stopped at a moment's notice. Stupidity yep. of the headline is too much. It took me. It, <laughs> I hear I, you. We usually a two minute video. We're like um, the American EFAP. Two minute video yeah. might take us forty five minutes. So, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm, in. I'm in. All right, <laughs> kick ass. J.J. Abrams, Bad Robot, the film production company behind Alias, Lost Star Trek, Star Wars, Rise of Skywalker, and a number of the Mission Impossible films, recently shared an employee guide titled "Bad Robots Guide to Dismantling White Supremacy at Work." Pause because, one second. Go ahead. So this is the same company that minimized Finn's character in yes. the Star Wars Disney sequels yes. and minimized his image on promotional materials overseas for a racist China. You are yes. correct. Yeah, okay. yeah the, the company right. that said, oh, you people are racist because you're talking about a black stormtrooper, but we have a black stormtrooper, but we're going to marginalize him and give him a really crummy role. Yes. As a janitor. As yeah. a janitor. That one. Yeah. And he's, yeah, he, he's a fool and he's not allowed to get the girl. Any, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that See, guy. what we have to go in, you have to understand he's when you're a white woman for three right, films. Man. Right. Hey. 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 When, when you're watching, when you're reading this article, you can't take anything into consideration outside of America because anything in China, this doesn't apply. <laughs> Okay, like they can go into China. It could be a completely different white supremacist type thing. So okay. just remember when you're reading this, leave China out of it because we're not supposed to talk about how much funding oh. Hollywood gets but, from China. If Finn was saying, in like, China, they'd put him in a washing machine and wash the black <laughs> off. Him. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. right. China. But it's just China. the fact that you you clearly have racist practices in this trilogy. Mm -hmm. that you produced and your solution to that is here go follow this person on twitter 
That's it. And then and then go come back, back to and, business as usual. And then come back and teach us because we have no freaking clue. No, the, first you have to take the comics pledge. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm. All yeah. right, read on, read on. You got it. The company, who also recently signed a huge contract with Warner Media and is reportedly working on a Justice League Dark series for HBO Max. This puts a bit of a stink on that. I'm sorry, stop fast. Uh, that puts a bit of a stink <laughs> on the whole goodwill that the HBO Max and, and everybody just, just gave us with the Snyder Cut. So, um, and now now this, I, 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 is, this a, is this two steps back? We'll, we'll see. Well, hold on. Further on. We'll see. I'm sorry. Yeah, that dark series, does it have negative connotations? It's, uh, <laughs> uh, sh share the link to the guide on Twitter writing. Uh, uh, <laughs> At bad robot. Well, he needed to go to the, the Black series. Lives Matter Twitter page before he did that. Darn it! Yes. <laughs> At bad robot, In the comments are, box below. We are committed to dismantling white supremacy and work, and at large, they're fighting for everything. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. Uh, we are following leading academics, activists, and artists, uh, and have compiled an evolving set of resources that we are sharing with friends and colleagues. Onward. That is not okay. What a so nice I'm back simple. at this this thing about homework. I know. Okay, what happens bad. to policies, specific things in your business that will make it better and less racist? No, resources no. don't do that. No, just go yeah, read yeah, a yeah. 152 characters. You're good. <laughs> we we want to. We want This is the superficiality. Like, yeah. You know, virtue signaling crap that is just so freaking annoying. Go, go ahead, Wes. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what I was I was saying. Is it, you know, we want to appear to be very sensitive and racially sensitive. Please continue to buy our stuff. Please know that we're good people. Please keep doing that. Don't uh, burn you know, us down. So, yeah, don't burn us down. We're no, you know, just because we're super rich and out of touch doesn't mean that uh, you know, see we're trying. So as people are goose stepping in and out of the bad robot offices, just know, you know that they've gone to Twitter and seen Black Lives Matter there. What they are saying, what Bad Robot is saying, is that they take responsibility. That's yeah, yeah, by sending everyone to social media for answers. Yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right, and, and you know what kills me is is that we're we're in a we're in a moment of time where, you know. People, white America, I'll say it, white America, we're walking on eggshells because it's starting to go like, you're destroying what now? Oh, oh, Jesus is next. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. No, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to seem racist. This is just, I'm signaling like, please don't stop buying our merch. Um, you know, the best meme I've seen is a sign up in like a bank that says all, you know, Black Lives Matter. And then underneath what it really means, please don't burn our bank down. You know, like yeah. it's just people scared. People are no, but it's, it's also, to be no, honest. I think that may be true for people, mm -hmm. but I think for these corporations, it's all smoke and mirrors. Oh, yeah. I because mean, just if they really wanted to do something, they've seen the criticism. They've seen the criticism from black people, they've seen the criticism from the fans. Mm -hmm. And I'm going back to Finn because I'm still pissed about that. And keep so, going, girl. What, you could, what they could have said was, you know what? With all this attention on, you know, what we've done with the promotion and this character, we were wrong. Yeah, admit you're wrong. Yeah, take responsibility for your actual actions, very specific no, things on. you've done. And then tell us, you know, what you can do to make sure that something like that doesn't happen in the future. That would be substantive. That would be meaningful. Yep. That would be something to show you actually care. Right. What people That think. ain't going to happen. It ain't going to never happen. Look at look at Jimmy Kimball. Jimmy Kimball took the summer. His answer to why you did Carl Malone and and uh, Oprah, I'm going to take the summer off. Uh, I'll give you an answer in September. Yeah. No, like, hmm. dude, just come out and say, look, just, it was comedy. Nobody thought, was upset at the time. I exactly. didn't think it was a bad thing, and neither did you because no. you watched it and you didn't say anything. Thank and you. that's about as good as Kevin Spacey's uh, response to being accused of child molestation. Oh, right. I'm gay. Yeah, I'm gay. I I'm like to gay. be. Yeah, <laughs> that's the answer. <laughs> that's the answer then. Um, no. Oh, oh, we didn't know. It. Okay, sorry, man. My didn't defense, mean to bother you. My defense to any serious <laughs> accusation will never be I'm gay. I <laughs> promise you that. It's insane. 
Uh, yeah, so here we have um, wow, this this whole symbol. Hey, look, here. a wrench. Is that a wrench or is it a screw? It's a robot. I do. Oh, okay. No, what's interesting is that that kind of looks like you know the World War II Japanese flag a little bit. It does actually. Oh shit! Rising sun. Yeah. Is this, <laughs> what is it supposed to be? work? <laughs> what, what? God, what are you trying to say? I mean, look, it's just. And to guide to dismantling white supremacy at work. Like you have white supremacy at work on Why your have it, logo. It Can looks I ask racist. You? Can I say it? it's, it's all you have to do is raise your robotic fist. My first question, Here. my first question as white anybody patriarchy. Well, no, no more black coffee at the office, folks. Oh, white robotic fist. <laughs> right. <laughs> the humans are dead. White savior. My my first question is this. Why didn't you, if you knew there was white supremacy oh at work, why didn't you take care of this earlier? Right. I mean, white well, supremacy should, is a little crazy. Like, you allowed to shop like a chess piece of a knight right in there. Like, like <laughs> in the robot hand. Yeah, what, what, what the heck is happening at the bad robot offices after hours? You know, people right. playing dress up and, you know, right. fortune stuff. Like, this is so not creative either for... Oh, or Photoshop like a robot nipple. Can we do that? <laughs> Somebody. They were just that. like, yeah. Oh god. They're like, look, we only have one employee right now because all the rest of them are out protesting or doing crazy <laughs> shit. Hey, Tom, I know you're the uh, male guy, but can you make a you know something up for us, like a symbol, you know? And the guy's just like, uh, well, Japanese like flag they, with a nut in it. It's just like well, when they, they did with the Punisher. Remember when they just shaped it into a heart? There you go. We'll throw some oh. blood on it. <laughs> <laughs> they should erase all the words in the circle and say, we only care this much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that God. is perfect. All right. Let's read on and get pissed. Yeah. Off. Yeah. Yeah. The title page pr uh, provides further details on the goals of the guide. It reads at bad robot. We are committed to storytellers and executives di to dismantling white supremacy at work and at large. With this ever-evolving and far-from-complete guide, we hope to share some resources to explore and navigate this time for ourselves and with each other as we strive to uh, do the delicate, raw, humbling, and enraging work of anti-racism. Humbling and enraging. Right. So once again, why didn't you take care of white supremacy already in your company? But we'll let that go for right now. Finally, you're taking care of all the white supremacists. Um, I like how they put in there. It's not like a, a set guideline. It, it's fluid because they it's ever know. Evolving. Well, it's ever evolving because you know why? Because they know people are going to rip this apart and they're gonna like, Oh shit, we got to add something. And the yeah. minute you start to cave and, and cave. well, the minute you start to cave or get canceled, your book's going to go from this to the, you know, like right. just get huge <laughs> because you're just going to keep adding stuff. Cause you're, you're coming from a place of fear not for concern of other people for fear of your company being canceled. And that is never the right place to come canceled. from long time it, ago. It's going to be like RoboCop two, where they loaded up RoboCop with hundreds of directives, you know, like look both ways before you cross the street, mm -hmm. say please. And thank you. That kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But you're the executive. Yeah, so I think just, just fire oh, the racist and be done with it. Yeah, right. there you go. I think that's, I think that's, that's what I'm saying. Out. Do they have like one department full of white supremacists? <laughs> like, hey, uh, Billy Joe and uh, Chet, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, no, you're not coming back on Monday. We got to let you guys go. Well, shit, darn all. You know, like, what? Well, sorry, I made them have... sound southern. I know. They do have people though, because I mean, start with whoever approved minimizing Finn on that freaking poster. But see, everyone who was yeah, in the room, Jane, fire that's them. never going to happen because. You can't you can't bring China into this. They will they will cower to China every single yeah. time because China is the second largest industry and about to overtake America for movies. So they will never cower. That's why the the quick peck on the lips from two women had to get taken out of the Chinese version. That's because Finn is black. Well, minimize that because they really don't like black guys over there. But we're the racists. We're, yeah. the, we're the racist people. We have the the most uh, equal laws in any country. And it did take us a while to get there, but we have the most equality of laws. So when you say America's racist, that's bullshit. People in America, yes, there are racists. There's there's going to be racists. But as a country, uh, we 
it's not, there's not systemic racism in this country. It's not in the laws anymore. It's gone. It's gone. Well, I think that they, in the, in their policies, apparently they still exist because they well, allowed that no. to happen. Bad robots racist. I mean, everybody right. knows that's what that. I said. But that's my thing. It's like, you okay, you've, you've acknowledged a problem. This is the only solution you could come up with. It just doesn't make any logical sense to me. Nope. And you know what? They shrunk Finn's head. Don't forget that. What were you going to say, Wes? Oh, uh, I, I was just going to say that that some of the that if you want to look at systemic racism, you know, affirmative action would be an example of systemic racism. Yes. Uh, well, but I think that's it, not it, the kind of racism it, they it want became, to talk about. I think it became that um, over time because it wasn't that initially. Right. Initially, it was intended no, to be to. Um, rebuff or tool. counter racist, yeah. racist practices. Yeah, at that but time, now, it, it came right after segregation. It was to get, you know, get, uh, you know, get black and brown folks into the workforce, give them some skills, and you not know, only that, I'd argue up into the 60s, 70s, uh, it was needed. Yeah, I mean, but look, when but the people who benefit most from it today are white women. So right, exactly, yeah. and, and <laughs> that's hilarious. But I, I mean, my grandparents. Italian or great grandparents and my grandmother and grandfather, Italian immigrants came to America, treated like swine, called every name you could think of that wow. nowadays is fine to call Italians, I guess, you know, without papers, they called them, you know, wops, guineas, all that stuff. My grandfather wouldn't allow, uh, except for my great grandmother, my great grandfather would not allow Italian in the house. You had to speak English. We're in America now. He started his own business after his boss, who was not Italian, treated him like shit. He saved every penny and started his own. Co- he was a what do they a shoemaker, cobbler, or uh, what a cobbler, he, yeah, right? Cobbler made shoes. They got from the white people. He got attacked from because he was Italian. From his own people because they were seemed too American. They got attacked from. But guess what? He worked his ass off so that then my gr- my grandfather could work at a deli his whole damn life. Somebody else's deli, save every penny so his son can go to college. You got to be willing as a generation of people to take a hit for the generation next. And I, I'm sorry, but it seems like with the advent of giving out food stamps and, and all this stuff and breaking up the nuclear family in the 60s, it really attacked the that generation from men and women, family members teaching their children and taking the hit for their kids. Like I'm going to work my ass off to put my kid in college. You have to, you have to work for the next generation. And I think all colors races, a lot of us have forgotten that that is old school American, always working for the next generation to be better than you were. And I think we forgot that in the time of social media and, and stuff like that, because everybody wants to be the star, not, help the star be raised. And I think that's something we have to remember as a people, you know, you need to, Oh God, you just, everybody wants to be the star. I am the star, (laughs) but it's true, man. (laughs) When, when you have a, a feel like you're being held down by society, you need to buckle down, work hard and hope that by doing that, the next generation can move just a step higher. And, and that's how it works in America. That's how it's always worked. I think, we are way past that with the black community because they were set back. They were disrespected. The the laws and the different things that were funded for them screwed up the family. Inner city drugs being funneled in by maybe the CIA. Um, they were attacked. And now this is our time to say we stand with you to better your lives as, as Americans because all Americans have the right to make the next generation's life even better. And I think that's important. Yeah, that. And I think you're right that there there was I hope I said that right. There was this derailing that happened because if you look at um, oh, it's big time. how you put it with Italians, you said like the white people didn't like you're right. They weren't they weren't, um, they weren't they really hate- considered white. And no, there they was were not white. Right. There was legislation passed in the early nineteen hundreds that cut Italian immigration by ninety percent and yep. all sorts of discussion about just how not white they were <laughs> and right. how they didn't want them here. Um, and you saw, you know, very early on, two people rejected Irish immigrants and right. moved down on them. And you saw during this time frame, Black Americans, uh, former slaves, children of former slaves, 
who were working hard and building their own businesses and building their yeah. own communities, we're reminded of what happened in Tulsa. Yes. And it wasn't just Tulsa. That yeah, community Black that Street. black people had built yeah. were destroyed. Right. Right. Um, so if it wasn't destroyed physically, then you began to see it being destroyed in other ways with the drugs in the communities, with the laws that were being passed, with the legislation that prevented black families from being together. Um, it was just one thing after the next, but I do agree that you need to have in a people a spirit of entrepreneurship and a desire yep. to succeed no matter what. If you're not getting it in the schools, you build your own schools. Whatever you have yes. to do, you, if you're not getting jobs, you create your own jobs. Right. Um, if they burn it down, you rebuild it. Like you have to have that that energy and that life and that industry. But can I ask you this? You become a victim. Oh, real well, quick. That's, that's exactly what I was going to ask you. I'm sorry. Go, bro. Real quick. Yeah. Immortal Coil's got to head out. Uh, oh, okay. Please stop doing Immortal. Thank you for please. coming, brother. What, what sub count? What sub Kevin. count are you at? Uh, right now, I'm about uh, 210. Can so, we get him? Uh, Let's get him up to 300. Let's get 300. Let's do this. Yeah. That would be a nice goal. I appreciate uh, talking to you guys. You always have the uh, really good perspectives. Um, Wes, I know like we haven't streamed much, but man, uh, really love your channel. Uh, thanks for being a part of this panel. Um, and you guys seriously like uh, hard hitting issues and things that are uh, uh, peripheral to entertainment, but that soaks into entertainment and tries yes. to uh, mm -hmm. invade and, and tell your neurons how to fire. That's that's what the fandom menace is about. So. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off you guys, do my own thing, and I will catch you guys uh very, very soon. Thank you, brother. Thank See you. Right. Right. Take care. Link will be in the description below. Please subscribe to Immortal Coil. Hail Trans oh, yeah. Fat. Appreciate it. Savage. So right. what I was gonna say real quick, and mm -hmm. I, I just want to ask Jane this question, is that Hail my brothers and sisters in the chat. Hail the Fandom Menace. It is the Fandom Menace Historian. Your Fandom Menace Historian, born in the chats with my brothers and sisters, letting you know that the Fandom Menace Volume 1 of Fandom Betrayed is back in demand. You can pick up this first edition book on Indiegogo for a limited time. Here's a comment from someone well-respected in our community, Shellback, commenting on the importance of the Fandom Menace Volume 1. I, you know, uh, uh, get on, uh, get on Indiegogo and, and order a copy of that damn book or, or you're, uh, uh, an effing retard. Okay. That's, uh, yeah. Pick up your copy today.